You ever see a triangle where you know that side AB is longer than side AC, and you just wish that you could assume that the measure of the angle opposite the longer side is greater than the angle opposite the shorter side? It, it just makes sense, right? Yes, it does just make sense, and today we're going to prove it so that we can use it in the future without feeling guilty. So here is our arbitrary triangle with one side AB longer than the the other, we're going to prove that the angle opposite the longer side is greater than the angle opposite the shorter side. And note that we're not saying AB has to be the longest side, we're just saying that it is the longer side when compared to AC. So a longer side means a longer opposite angle. I encourage you to give this proof a try yourself before watching the rest of the lesson. It's a pretty straightforward direct proof. If you want a hint, the first thing we're going to do is, since the side AB is longer than the side AC, we're going to plot a point on AB. Maybe it's right about here, and we can call this P, so that AP has the same length as AC. And then, by joining C to P, we'll have an isosceles triangle that sets us up nicely for the rest of the proof. Once more, the setup there is since we know AB is longer than AC, we know there's some point on AB so that the length of this segment from A to that point P is the same as the length from A to C. So let's put a hash mark on these two sides to mark that they are congruent. And we can jot that off to the side here if we want so we don't forget AP is equal to AC. Now, isosceles triangles are nice because we can use the isosceles triangle theorem to conclude that this angle is congruent to this angle. What we're trying to prove now is kind of like an extension of the isosceles triangle theorem. Remember, the isosceles triangle theorem tells us that if two sides are equal, then the angles opposite them are equal as well. By equal, of course, I mean congruent, but I hope you'll forgive some of my informal language. So we can write that here. The measure of angle APC is equal to the measure of angle ACP by the isosceles triangle theorem. And I'll leave a link in the description to my lesson proving the isosceles triangle theorem if you're not familiar with the proof. It's pretty easy. Now, where can we go from here? Well, remember, we're trying to relate angle C to angle B. Clearly, we can relate angle C to this smaller angle. In particular, that angle is smaller because angle C consists of this angle, ACP, plus some. So we can relate angle C to this angle, ACP, but of course, we've related angle ACP to this angle as well, APC. Then, is there any way that we can relate angle APC to angle B to tie this all together? Yes, indeed. The exterior angle theorem tells us that the measure of angle APC is certainly greater than the measure of angle B. Notice that angle APC is an exterior angle of triangle PBC. If you don't remember how the exterior angle theorem works, let's say we call this angle X. Obviously, X plus these two angles has to be 180 because that's the angle sum of a triangle. But these two angles, X and the exterior angle, APC, are supplementary. They fall on a line, which means they also add to 180. Since adding X to this angle gives us the same thing as adding X to these two angles, the measure of this angle has to equal the sum of these two angles, and so it's certainly greater than either one of them individually. So that's the exterior angle theorem telling us that angle APC is greater than angle B, and you can see where this is going. We already know, since this is an isosceles triangle, that angle APC is equal in measure to angle ACP. So this means that angle ACP is also greater than angle B. But then, of course, as we stated earlier, since angle C 
consists of angle ACP plus a little bit more, we know that angle C is greater than angle ACP. And so we can put that on the front of this inequality. Angle C is greater than angle ACP, which is greater than angle B. Thus, as desired, angle C is greater than angle B. And that's what we wanted to prove. So we have demonstrated that in a triangle, if one side is longer than another side, the angle opposite the longer side is greater than the angle opposite the shorter side. We can also say that the side of a triangle subtends its opposite angle. So another way to state this result is that the longer side subtends the larger angle. As you may suspect, the converse is also true. If all we knew was that angle C was greater than angle B, then we'd be able to prove that AB is greater than AC. So it's also true that the larger angle is subtended by the longer side. So give that a shot as an exercise. Flip this statement around to get the converse and try writing a proof. We'll go over it next time. Umbrella, sun, beach, and